Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, that's hot. Okay, it is the second day of my little break from my day job as a wedding photographer. And I decided that since I took my first day off to bring all the rest of my plants inside, yeah, we brought them in. I would take today to film my 2019 houseplant tour fall edition. Total disclaimer, didn't bother doing any of this this morning because it doesn't matter because it's not about me, it's about the plants, right? And two, I did not walk through my house yet this morning. <laughs> And I spent all day yesterday bringing plants inside. So I really haven't had a chance to go over and pick off any dead leaves or clean. If I do have a few dead leaves on my plants, that's okay because that happens. It's normal. And we can clean them up together as we go along on the tour. I don't know if there's going to be much of any because I checked them last week. But just a little disclaimer. Oh, another disclaimer. Number three. Number three because I can't do this because my fingers, they're weird. I, as we all know, can't pronounce the names of plants to save my life and don't know the names of a lot of plants to save my life. So I'm going to be taking this day to research every plant I show you in my house and I will be putting the names of the plants up on the screen as you see them so that if you wanna pause, write the name down, get yourself one of those plants, you can. It's gonna be a little informative, but not verbally informative. It'll be on the screen, okay? We're gonna start in my office. Let's go. Ooh, it's a little bright in here. All these windows. So this is my lips, my curly lipstick plant. I had it hanging in another basket in, a, in another tour. Oh, I'm just noticing this little flower. So cute. Um, and a lot of it was dying off and I took it out of the pot and I realized it was really root bound. So I saved what I could and actually it's been growing in the water, believe it or not. Like you could see new growth at the bottom here. And I just love this hanging on my wall. So I'm going to keep it there until the roots establish a little more. You can kind of see that they're, they're growing in there and then I'll repot it. But I just want to give it a little bit more time to kind of grow some more roots there. All right, over here, we have my Hoya Carii. It's just a single leaf. It'll never be more than that, sadly enough. Um, oh, really quick guys, if you guys see this white sand, if you're new to my channel, I use white sandbox sand on the top of all of my plants just to prevent fungus gnats. It's the easiest way for me. There's other ways, but yes, that's what that is. Um, I water it maybe once every couple of weeks. I don't know if I need to, but it's still in like great shape. I got it from New York. This is my Hoya. What are you? I don't know. But again, the name will pop up in the screen. It's like soft and fuzzy. I love this guy. I keep a lot of my Hoyas in here in this room. I feel like lately Hoyas have been indestructible for me. Here's some more. This is the uh, Hoya Crimson Green, I think. Look at these leaves. And this is all new. Like that's a new branch there. Isn't that pretty? I hope you guys can see this because it's up high and I can't really see what I'm filming. And then we have my Hoya Pink um, Variegated Carnosa, I believe. Look at this leaf. It's completely like half green, half pink. <gasps> So pretty. It's doing really well there. Oh, see, here's a dead leaf that we can take off there. Well, I can't do it with one hand, but we look at these all white leaves. All white leaves, guys, typically don't last very long, but uh, they're sure pretty when they do pop out. Look at that. So pretty. We're hanging on this little macrame thing that I made. <laughs> is um just a little cutting of string of bananas and it's actually grown pretty crazy like there's other bananas growing in the water i just think it's cute i leave it there this was a gift 
from one of my husband's friends in New York. And my husband surprised me with it when he came home. It was delivered and I was like, what is this? Look at the detail, so pretty. Okay, so over here, this is a Peperomia something or other. Really cute, it's almost like a tree form. Here's just a few little succulents that I just brought in from outside. Same thing with this little guy, nothing in there. Gotta get something in there. All right, let's come up here. This is an evergreen of some sort. I got this in New York from a little boutique shop and it's really cute and it's cute for winter. It just hangs out, it hasn't grown very much. Okay, let's turn, I'm trying to go slow guys, sorry. Let's come over here to my Adansonii. She came inside. If you guys are following me on Instagram, I did have quite a bit of leaf drop when I brought it in, but that's expected just because of, you know, the change in temperatures. Even if you acclimate it, you're still gonna experience some leaf drop. But overall, I tied it up a little bit better. This has done great, bringing it in. It's been in for about four weeks now and it's doing really well. I know some of you guys were concerned about like if I lost the whole plant and I definitely did not. It's got new growth coming in pretty much everywhere. If you can see there's some there. So doing really well. I also got these sticky traps from um, recommendation on Harley G's page. They're really cute and they were 10 bucks for, I wanna say 20 of them maybe. I'm noticing one little fungus gnat there. They pretty much capture adult fungus gnats. So even though we have sand in our pots, we do have a few that still don't have sand and we're in the process of getting rid of um, the top layer of soil and adding sand to some of them. So we still have a couple of fungus gnats, but not a ton. Look at these roots, these aerial roots. Schnazzy. All right. <clears throat> Mia in Arizona with the horses. Here is my gorgeous string of hearts. Doing super happy up there. I love how that hangs there. Don't mind my calendar. Look at all those days off. Woohoo! All right, let's come over here. See? My clean leaves ain't so clean. Look at that dust. Oof, I am not living up to my name. This is my um rubber tree what what kind of a rubber tree is it shoot i'm not sure but honestly guys this has stayed this size wait hold on i have a tag there ficus elastica rubber plant okay that's all that says um i've had this here for oh, man maybe about a year now and it hasn't really grown much and i'm fine with that i like it this size it lives behind my computer so i don't know i'm content with it i like how dark the leaves are here is my Hoya um, Compacta. Looks like it needs a little bit of water. When they start puckering like this, see that little wrinkle? That means it's time for a drink. So we gotta give it some water. Here is my Donkey Tail, Burrows Tail, Sedum, whatever you shall call it. This lived outside all year, and I think I'm gonna do a separate video on this. See, this is one of them that we still haven't put sand in the top. So there very well could be some fungus gnats in there. But look at how plush these leaves are. And it's growing all the way down there. And see how compact the leaves are at the end? That's what you want. You want them to be super tight like that. When they start to get like this, <laughs> and leggy, you probably want to trim that off, let it callous, and then you can just pot that back up in the soil. So I do have some maintenance to do on this guy. There are a few leaves here that got some sunburn damage. And then, um, like I said, just kind of leggy, like see that? That's not cute. But the bottom end has new growth and is really healthy. So I don't want to just snip it and toss it. You want to snip it, propagate it, and plant it back up in the pot, like I did with a few of these. This one's propagated. That's just a succulent that made its way in there. I don't know how that got in there. 
but a few of these. And then like, if you have any that fall off, you can literally just toss them in the pot and they'll root and they'll start growing. There's a couple here that have already done it, like right there. So that'll be a separate video, I think. He sleeps crooked. Like, he like twists his body. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> it's a houseplant tour, Prime. <laughs> okay, so right up here is my Schefflera, which is really happy. This did not experience any leaf drop when I brought it in. It's loving its life up there. This is my teddy bear vine, which also is doing great and has a ton of new growth on here. And this did not have any leaf drop either. Super healthy, trailing, glorious. Peperomia, mm, Trevolinas. Ugh, gosh, guys, I'm not even gonna try. But this has been here for a while and it loves it right there. All right, so let's go up here. Peace, love, and plants. My daughter drew this for me. <laughs> Hashtag plant love. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna come up here. This is one of my elephant ears, ooh, which is dripping. It's got some perspiration. It's got a new leaf growing right there. That just came in yesterday. And then we have this one that my sister-in-law bought me. This guy is so crazy. I don't know the name of it, but it's a succulent and it's got a baby shoot growing out there. It's gotten all the way up here and now that it has no more space, it's like growing downward. <laughs> now we come down here. This is my gorgeous, pretty philodendron micans. Look at that. She's a beaut. Sorry for the shadows. My blinds are open. I just repotted this in a recent video and it's got some new growth. Love it. This is a really cool tree. My husband got me for our anniversary. Look at the foliage there. So pretty. This is my desert rose. It lost most of its leaves, like people were telling me it would. But it does still have like some buds right here. I don't know if you can see that. And then look at that. How pretty. Oh, they're like a creamy white. This is my Hoya Publicalix. It's got some variegation on it. And look at the vines. It keeps making its way over to the desert rose. The other day I found it wrapped around the desert rose. And I don't know if you could see that, but there's some new growth coming in there. So exciting. I love that guy. My Curtisii, I believe is how you pronounce it, lives in moss, sphagnum moss. And the roots kind of just grow and like wrap themselves around it. I don't know if you could see it, but I don't want to mess with it too much. It's really happy there. I like how it looks in that too. Here are my cactus gardens. You guys remember these from outside? They are doing so well. I had a lot of questions about what that was and people were telling me that it was sunburn and I really think that y'all are correct. So we're going with sunburn because that's all I can find out and it's not like I can get it off with alcohol so it's not any type of insects and it was in direct sun all summer so but they've gotten so big and I love them there they're perfect so this is like my little shelf behind my desk you guys probably see this when I'm filming that's all for the office now let's do the kitchen starting at my sink we have my jade which started out probably like all of this is new growth, this whole stem. Um, it's gotten so big. Actually, this is my daughter's jade. Sorry, my husband's making breakfast. <laughs> it's okay. And then this is my satin pothos I got as a cutting. And I'm hoping that it gets really big because I love the variegation on here. I had a really large one and it died and I was sad. So I'm happy I have that. Then here is just a wonky, I think Echeveria. Sorry, it's backlit. 
<laughs> um, I don't know what this is, but the name would be on the screen if I could find it. But that's like tripled in size. That was outside. That's my pumpkin from kindergarten. <laughs> and we have the aloe, which this is my daughter's too. And it was like this big when we potted it. And now look at it. It's ridiculous. Oh, hey there, guy. How's it going? You just hanging in there and swinging around? Ahoya uh, Shepherdii. Shepherdii is hanging out there. And then, oh, there's another Skeletor. This is another um, type of jade, I believe. It's, uh, oh, what are you? Shoot. There's a leaf that's yellowing there that I'll probably pick off. But that's it for my kitchen window. Oh, I also have this, guys, so quick update. This was, I don't know if you remember, but my friend's grandpa had a arrowhead and I repotted it and I lost a lot of it but these are the new roots it's living in water for now because I'm worried if I repot it it'll I'll lose more again but it's doing pretty good here so I'm gonna leave this here for now and repot it probably within the next month or so moving over this stuff guys from um, Aldi is not that great it looks great but it's not that great anyway this is my Zamiya. It's in the ZZ family. And it's starting to kind of yellow. And I'm wondering if it's experiencing just natural leaf drop. I brought it in from outside. And only like the middle here seems okay. So I don't know what's going on with it. Makes me a little sad, but we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. <laughs> There's another, we got little skeletons surrounded in that, like all over the house, so you'll see them. Anyway, this one is my, what are you, Bro Marks? Hmm, I should know this, I just got this. Uh, but this is doing great. I have it in some soil topped with some sphagnum and it's living its best life. Here is another Syngonium. A happy one. I've had this Syngonium for quite some time and uh, it's doing really well. It's kind of growing a little wonky, but all of that's new growth down there. All right, this is like my little plant shelf. I have some fall veggies that I was supposed to plant that I never did, so those are for next year. <laughs> Over here, hi outside. Here is my avocado experiment, guys. Update, look at the leaves. That wasn't there when I potted it up. How cute. I know you guys were already asking for an update, so here's a little update. And I'm thinking I might go live once they really start growing and uh, do another update video. Cool, huh? On this side next to my overnight oats station, we have another little me right there. Hey guys, it's fall, you know? Embrace the Halloween. This is my peace lily, and this was white, and now it's green. Focus, focus. Which is weird, but kind of cool. Um, and it's still so tiny, and I like it tiny. I see people that have like gigantic peace lilies. I mean, I am excited for it to grow, but I'm content with it being that size for now. All right, and up here, I made this. <laughs> this is my Cebu Blue. Look at how big it's gotten. Oh, oh, who is you? It's gotten so tall and it's just, it keeps growing. And actually now I'm looking at it. I think there might be a leaf growing in back. Oh yeah, he snuck back there. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorites. It almost has like a blue hue to it. Very happy in there. Moving on over here, we have happy fall, y'all, today. And another little guy, Peperomia Hope. Look at how it's growing, isn't that weird? It just has a long stem and it's just hanging. I kinda am not mad at it. It's, it's cute, I like it. It's like a cluster of foliage just hanging off a branch. These are those lights I got at Target when I was with my mom. I just hung them up. This is like our catch-all bags and tissue paper. 
and it lights up the kitchen pretty cute. All right, here's my Amazonica, which is doing really well. This is a new leaf. This is a new leaf that's unfurling, and this is one of the older ones. Love it. See, this is another solution for fungus gnats, guys. Just kind of like little pea, pea gravel. This is my daughter's desk, which is in the kitchen. Um, she's got a Dracaena there. And then she has some cuttings from my mom's in here. And some of them aren't doing that great. I think I might have lost a few on the plane, but this one and one in back look like the only two that are doing all right. So she's gonna have to go through there and toss out the dead stuff. Bathroom? Okay, here we have three little guys. That is my little warty that I got in Arizona that's growing pretty cool. Oops, sorry. It's got like a new little growth right there. That's a wonky barrel cactus and a little tiny Haworthia. Yeah, that's what it is. So those just live on our windowsill. And then I have an arrowhead up there, which is really cool. It likes the humidity in here. Down here, we have a little, um, I was told it was a Prince of Orange, but I don't think it is. I think it's a just the lime green one. It's tiny. And then we have a pothos there. And then my goldfish plant. This little guy. I've, I got this from the plant hall. Um, Steph Hall's shop. And it's so cute. And I hope it stays this size. Look at there's a new growth coming in there. Hi. All right, this is the kids' room, and we're going to keep it closed because it looks like quite the disaster in here. This is some type of a fern, which I'm shocked it's still alive because, guys, this house and the humidity level is not up to par for ferns. But anyway, this is like some sort of evergreen. They like weird plants. She's got some echeverias in here, some succulents, and she's got, these are fake, <laughs> uh, snake plant. There's a Marimo moss ball in there. Up here, there's, this is some type of a fern too. It looks like this foliage could probably be picked off, but it's cute. I like how they decorate. That's fake. Fake. There's a little golden barrel cactus next to a plethora of washi tape. Check out this Dracaena. I don't even know if she's noticed this. Look at this. Look at this. How do you kill a Dracaena, you know? <sighs> These kids. Bamboo, doing pretty well. And then down here we have some more bamboo, which is doing good. Okay, this is some shelving in our bedroom. This is our, um, which now looks like a philodendron, like just a green heart leaf philodendron, but this was sent to me as a Brazil, guys, and it converted back or reverted back to green. Like these leaves were green and yellow, just like the Brazil. And now look at, these are coming in light green, like the variegation that was on the leaves. And if you look here, this new growth, I think it might have some variegation. So I'm excited to see what it does inside because I'm like determined to show you guys that I promise this is a Brazil. <laughs> and look at how big it's gotten, Pam. I got this from Pammy's planty things. It's so pretty. All right, up here. Oh, look at this sad, sad zebra plant. Oh, good Lord, look at, look at, jeesh. Real life, guys. I mean, it's okay. I just think it's experiencing some wilting from being repotted and brought inside. So, I don't know. This is uh, an Ansonii cutting. Isn't that crazy? Got it in a salsa jar. <laughs> but this is about ready to be repotted because these roots are, yeah, they're there. I just like how it looks there, though. And then up here, we have a bonsai. Not sure what kind of bonsai. 
And there's a little succulent there. One's not doing good. The other one's looking all right. <laughs> and that's that area. Then I have a pothos here, which I moved to the bedroom from the kitchen. And yeah, there's that. Okay, bye. And then there's a couple back there. And I think it just needs a little bit more light, so I might move it. I thought they were indestructible and I could like put it anywhere. But I don't know, might have to move it back. Hey, little guy. This is a snake plant in the corner here, which is pretty happy. And then up here we have the variegated uh, Apuntia. Ha, got it. This is an aloe that was outside. You guys probably remember it with all the little babies. It's doing pretty good. I'm impressed. I hope it's enough light in here for it, but it's pretty happy. And then up here, is the string of hearts propagation that you guys just saw the other day. Isn't it cute? Anybody want this? Not the propagation station, but the cuttings. <laughs> okay, probably the best plant room in the house, the living room. He's like, come this way. We're gonna start on this wall here, which is very festive at the moment. <laughs> This is my Dracaena fragrance, which has gotten pretty tall and just kind of keeps on growing. Look at these dusty leaves. It is time to clean my leaves. <laughs> Goodness, these are gonna be carved. The, pump, the pumpkins on in front, the squirrels keep getting to them. Like my Halloween decor? It's fun. All right. Shaflera. This one was borrowed from <laughs> New Orleans at the venue that I shot a wedding at. It This huge branch was on the floor, I promise. And I took it. I picked it up and I took it. It was off of a huge bush. This is... What are you? I don't know, but these leaves are not dying, so I'm just gonna assume that this is the variegation of them. I thought that they were yellowing and that they were dying off, but they're not. We got them in sphagnum. I did the whole hydrogen peroxide wash for them, and yeah, no new leaves, not dying, so whatever. Hey guys, look who it is. It's the fiddly fig. See how big it's gotten? It put out one, two new leaves since I brought it outside. And it's doing pretty good. There's one little burnt spot on that there, but that's been there since before I brought it out. And then this looks a little crispy. So maybe I'll missed it. It needs definitely needs some more humidity, but it's getting taller. Like the base is getting taller. What do you think? All right, this is our coffee table. And I have a Christmas or Thanksgiving cactus. I don't know how to tell them apart, so you guys tell me what you think it is. But this lives here, and it likes it there. Oh, hey girl, how you doing? This is our TV area, and I'm pretty sure I bought these shelves specifically for my plants. <laughs> right, babe, did I? Probably. <laughs> Let's get a close up, shall we? We're starting on this side. Oh, we got another little fungus gnat on there. This is my ficus Audrey. She's so pretty. She's lost quite a few leaves, but she's still putting on new growth, so I ain't worried about it. My Peperomia scandens, which has grown like a monster. Look at how long. I love how it trails. It goes back here all the way down to there. The kids made these when they were like five. All right, down on this shelf we have this. Oh, what are you? So this is dying. Oh, I gotta tell Mia. I think I overwatered it. Look at, watch this. Oh, it's squishy. Oh my God, that's so gross. This is still hard. Do you guys think I should cut the top off and like propagate it? Oh my God, it's like falling. Ew, oh God, I gotta throw it out. I'm 
makes me sad. She's gonna be so mad. All right, this is my Peperomia something, I don't remember. This was outside, I repotted it, brought it in. No leaf drop, it's been totally happy. Peperomia Parallel, also happy. Then we come down here. This is my watermelon Peperomia. Look at the size of this leaf, like hand comparison. Isn't that cool? I got this as a gift in the mail, plant swap. Um, and it's also got some babies under it. Look at that, little guys. I'm excited about that. This is a, hmm, euphorbia, I wanna say. Maybe not, I don't know. That was outside, also doing great. I cannot believe I still have this elkhorn fern and it's still alive, you guys. No new growth, but look at this leaf. <laughs> it's insane. I got one dead leaf here that I could take off. But that's what it does. It just like, it drops leaves and it grows a new one. So crazy. Okay guys, are you ready for some disappointing news? <sighs> Look at that. Do y'all remember what was in there? I did a terrarium and it died. Yes, my turtles are dead. My whatever else was in there is dead and I just put a potted Haworthia in there for now because I was sad. I know, makes me mad. Let's not talk about that. Here is my fairy castle cactus that's doing great. My bucket of essential oils. <laughs> we'll go bottom to top. That is Mia's dragon palm, I believe. And then we have a peperomia. This is the pepper peperomia rana verde, which is doing okay. It's got some, some leaf drop going on back there. I just gave it some water, so waiting to see if it perks back up. It's kind of like Fetonia's where they flop and then perk back up. Hello, mummy hand. Up here is my Peperomia trinervulia. This has not been doing good and it was doing so well. I'm not sure what's going on with it. It has not moved from the spot in months and it just started just like flopping. I think it's just that time of year, guys. The temperature is changing. I don't know. I don't know. We got this flickering light at, um, I got it at World Market. Isn't it cool for the holidays? I love it. Spooky. All right, my Pilea peperomoides has a baby growing. Hello, little baby. Which is a first. I think this needs more light because the foliage is not that big, but it's been doing okay. It's fine there. We come up here. We got our Silver Ripple Peperomia, which has always looked so pretty. I have never had any issues with this Peperomia. You guys, my rubella isn't doing the greatest either. Look at that. It was so full, so full of color, and now it's just flopping. I didn't do anything different. So I don't know, tis the season, right? Look at this curtain of string of bananas. Look at it. Okay, so let's look at this back here because this is where the true beauty is. See? And it still has some new growth coming in in the ends. See it? The little tips are all new, bananas. But the top, the aerial roots are finally kind of crisping over. And the top, I'm losing a little bit on the top. And I'm just assuming it's because it's not getting enough sun. Although it is right next to this really bright window. And this room gets a ton of light. Um, I just gave it some water. It's, you know, I just brought it in about a month ago and it's just kind of mad at me, which I expected, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, this is my Peperomia, what are you? Fagerlindii. Okay, I've never had any issues with this one either. This has always been really pretty. So I'm glad that this isn't experiencing any leaf drop. This one was in my office and I brought it out here. Here's the money tree. Look at that. Oh my gosh, guys, I thought this was a goner. When I brought it outside, it got so much sunburn 
and it just popped back and grew a whole bunch of new leaves once I put it in the shade. Oh, what a rookie mistake. Anyway, all right, let's move over to the window. So this one is, oh, what are you? Philodendron, oh, da, 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 da. I'll find out. Um, this I repotted and it's doing really well. It loves the spot, so I'm thankful for that. This is my Alocasia Regal Shields. Look at how pretty that leaf is. Sorry, it's a little backlit, guys. I'm trying to get some, there we go. Look at how pretty. It's got one leaf here that's probably on its way out, but that's okay. That happens. Oh, don't cover her face. <laughs> we like to decorate in this house, if you can't tell. Coming over to this window, we have the groom. <laughs> and then we have a uh, succulent of some sort, or a bunch of them. It's my daughter's. And then we have a Monstera Deliciosa cutting with a new leaf coming in there. Yay. Here is my Monstera Deliciosa mother plant. I know a bunch of you guys have been asking for updates on her. I have propagated this plant probably about six times. And it's crazy just how much new growth it keeps putting on. Like here's a brand new leaf coming in. Here's a brand new one coming in. This plant has been in this spot since I got it. I have not moved it and it's like growing up towards this lamp. Like, like hello. <laughs> and there's a new leaf back there. They appreciate it. Um, I can actually propagate this. I think I'm going to take another cutting right here by that node. You can see it. And then also here is another node. And I think I could take another cutting there. I just like propagating them because they propagate so easily and I can give them to people as gifts. Okay, we're about to be backlit. I think I'm gonna close that blind, but here's my teak bench. Let's check it out. Okay, I hope that helps. <laughs> mm, not really. All right, let's start here. This is my Euphorbia Eritrea, and it's gigantic. I love this cactus. It really just, I might have to put a stake in it because it's kind of starting to lean. This, the sand doesn't look that great, but this is um, a cactus I got in Arizona, and it's grown a bit. It's gotten like fluffier on top. Here's another Euphorbia. This is a good luck one, I think. Yeah, good luck Trigona. It's got some pretty color on it. Come on, focus camera. Here we go. I can't remember the name of this one either, but it's cool. It's different. Here's my brain cactus, just in time for Halloween. This one's the Silver Torch. I've had this for a long time. It hasn't really grown that much, but it's doing all right. This one my husband also got for our anniversary and it's actually much bigger than it looks on camera. Can you see it's like leaning towards the light and they staked it at the store, but that's not a stake for this big guy. <laughs> Needs a bigger one. String of pearls, you guys. It's really happy. Look at that. I'm so impressed. I can't believe I kept one alive. It's an accomplishment and it's growing. I ignore it. Ignore it, look away. All right, here's my Apuntia. What's left of it anyway? Uh, if you follow my Instagram, you know that the squirrels attacked my Apuntia. And that's what's left. Look at those little cactus back there. They're new ones. Isn't they cute? Here's my Euphorbia zigzag. There's some variegation on there too. Did you come to join us? No, you stay over there. Sit down. You stay right there and wait. Cause you're gonna wag your tail and hit a cactus. Okay, you stay. This is my, this has grown like crazy. This was outside my rat tail cactus. 
Sandra, the plant chica, if you're watching this, isn't it crazy how much this has grown since I bought it from you? Look at that. <sighs> it's huge. So fun. This is my Euphorbia um, African Golden, I think it is. It's got some gold spots on there. This is a Madagascar palm, which has not had any leaf drop. Oh, I lied. There's one since I brought it in. Oh, there's another. Um, this is a Pachypodium gayi. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's pretty cool. It looks like a cactus to me. Old man cactus mm -hmm. from Arizona. When I went shopping with Becca from De La Plants. Yay. I don't know what this is. Oh, wait, there's a, there's a tag. A Cirrus Peruvian Monstros. Sure. We'll go with that. Look at this guy. He's got another growth coming in up there. So when I bought it, it was just the bottom one and this one. And then this grew in last year. And then that's growing in now, which is super exciting. And it looks like it might flower on the top. There's another cactus back there with no drainage. And look at how much it's grown. We don't water it very much. It's my daughter's. This is a red barrel. It's got some fierce spikes. Those are from my mom's in Arizona, her front um, lawn. They're not Mexican fen fence post cactus. You guys tell me all the time what these are. And I can't remember. Here is my Thanksgiving slash Christmas cactus. That's doing really well. I got this for like two bucks at CVS after Thanksgiving last year. This pot has no drainage. Look at how well it's doing. It's crazy. I, I swear these are indestructible too. All right, guys, here's my Kalancho Kalenkoe, however you want to pronounce it. It had quite a bit of leaf drop, which makes me sad. This was the one that was outside, but it's got a bunch of new growth there. Like the end, the tips of all of these, oh, one just fell. The tips of all of these have new growth. So see, this is what happens when uh, you shock your plant. <sighs> Sad, but it happens. Oh well, it's still looking okay. And then look at this bird of paradise. Girl, you are so pretty. This is a new leaf. No, I'm lying. Where's the new leaf? Oh, did it fully open? Oh, I think it's this one. I think this one just opened up. And I don't see any other new growth, and it might go dormant. It might not have any new growth over the winter, but I'm okay with that. I like the size. It's really happy there. So, yeah. All right, guys, that's it for the living room. Now, let's go downstairs and see what my husband's got stored down there. All right, it's a little backlit, but this does get plenty of light. This is the Devil's Ivy Golden Pothos. It's gotten pretty big. I hate these block windows, by the way. Damn, my friend. This is the same cutting from the Brazil upstairs. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying, guys? It's a Brazil. That needs water. He's got a Sansevieria Boncel here, which, this is a Cylindrica. I love how it grows, look at that. It's so cool. <laughs> I swear we don't drink, we don't. They're for when people come over. This is a uh, Peperomia Parallel cutting that's been living in water for quite some time. I'm to the point where this is probably never gonna make it into soil. Um, it's probably just gonna live as a propagation piece forever because I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get those roots out of there. He also has a bonsai, not a bonsai, bamboo here, which is cool, that's gotten bigger. Here is 
um, a pickle plant, also known as a Senecio staphylophoriformis something. Look at it, it looks like a pickle. A little cactus next to it. This is an African spear cylindrica. He likes sand severias, and they're great for low light situations, so that's why he has a lot down here. Here's another little Peperomia parallel. Just one little tiny stem. He's got this Adansonii cutting, which is living in water for right now, but needs to be repotted, because look at them roots. Here are a couple that just came in yesterday. Actually, I'm lying. This has been in for a while. This is our jade. Um, this has been in for a few weeks now. No leaf drop. It's doing really well. This is our ZZ plant, which this wasn't outside. This was upstairs. We swapped it for the money tree. Look at how green. I want a ZZ raven, guys. Know where I can get one? The croton. Da -da -da. All right. This is a um, coral cactus. He has a pink one too. I think it's in the bathroom. But I got this one for him from Home Depot because he was like, hey, I want another one. This one's bigger. And it looks really cool on this desk. This pothos is uh, seen better days. There's a dead leaf back there. It's dead. I mean, it's almost Halloween, so fits into the spirit. Here's the Hartley philodendron. That's doing so good. It's got new growth everywhere. One, two, three, four. Pretty, pretty. And then the whale fin. Do you guys remember the whale fin with the disease on top and they told us to cut it off and that it would be fine? Well, it is. It's alive. It's just not growing. Okay, this is a little end table next to the couch here. This is a Shrek ear, which is cute. I know you guys said that you like this pot. It's terracotta. I got this in Arizona at a store called At Home. It's cute. There is my underwater terrarium that's doing great. Guys, I like when I do projects and then stuff actually survives because then I get to show you an update. <laughs> uh, they're doing good. And then there's a cutting of a ZZ that's lived in this non-drain hole pot for about a year now. Indestructible. Window number two. We have this Haworthia here, which is my daughter's. It's like a chunky one. I don't know what kind. It looks. It almost looks like aloe, like it's got gel inside of it. Here is the Rick Rack. I got this from Pammy's Planty Things, and it's doing really well. And it's like growing little. Do you see that? Are those spines? That's so cool. It's happy down here though. And then here's like a mini <sighs> Cylindrica Sansevieria, but I don't know what the real name is. He's had this for a long time too, and there's also no drain holes, holes in there. Okay, this is a bookcase, and we have this ZZ on top here because we have a light right there, which is perfect, and it's really happy there. Then look at it. It's the rat tail that was outside. Look at how long it's gotten. We got him in the corner there, just trailing. He's cute. I hope he survives the winter. And then we have a marble pothos here, which is really happy. It's a little dark under here, but it is getting some of this light. So it's been here for a couple of months, but if, it, if I notice like any yellow leaves or crispy leaves. I'm just going to move it over this way. Down here we have the snake plants. This one is a mother-in-law's tongue. This one's a silver sword something. Sure. They're down there. They're happy. Here is the yucca that we brought in. If you guys are following my Instagram, you saw that there was a gigantic praying mantis living in this that I didn't notice until we brought it in the house and then I freaked out. And we got it outside, but this is doing great. Last winter, it dropped a lot of leaves and it didn't do too good. That's why we brought it outside for the summer, but it has so much new growth. Like, look at all this in there. So I'm hoping it stays happy down here. I'm hoping. 
the other one. So let's just hope that they don't experience any leaf drop because they're very full right now. We're in the bathroom and this is the pink coral cactus that I was talking about. My daughter made that for him. It's like a canvas. <laughs> These guys. Jay. He's got a Marimo moss ball in there with a crazy little dude which needs to be cleaned out. See how it kind of builds up a little bit of like algae? Just gotta clean it out. You dump it, you rinse the ball off, and then you squeeze it and pop it back into some cold, fresh water. And then there's some more per Peperomia Parallel that keeps growing. See the new growth? I'm telling you, it's just gonna live in there, live in the water. We're almost done with the house plant tour, but do you see that? That purple light, that's not a haunted house, y'all. Wanna see what it is? <laughs> this is our like, just basement storage room area. We have like our stuff over here. So there's nothing really here. Oh yeah, wait, I forgot he brought this in. This might get moved. There's a window there that gets some light, but not a ton. So this lives here. This guy, remember this guy? But let's see where the rest of the stuff is. <laughs> oh my God, if I step on a spider, I'm gonna scream. We put the grow light in there because we noticed the bulbs were kind of the same and we put them all here. This is like our storage area. So we have junk decorations. So, yeah this is the mojito this is the variegated one <laughs> this is the one that had a little bit of leaf damage there's my calicasia back there you guys i don't know what do you think about this i think that they're going to be happy with uh, the light and it stays fairly humid down here we're going to monitor it we're going to keep an eye on them i don't know I would just assume that they're happy with this grow light right on top of them, you know? So we'll see, but this is our solution for now. Okay, now that everything I see is green because I just looked into a purple grow light. Oh God, guys, I hate those things. Like they work, don't get me wrong, but it's just not aesthetically pleasing and they really hurt your eyes. Like I have sensitive eyes to begin with, so. And I'm a photographer, can't hurt these, you know? But anyway, thanks guys for joining me in this updated houseplant tour fall edition. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it was a little long, but most houseplant tours are a little long. I do still have a couple of plants outside, like Mia's Fairy Garden. Um, there was another Echeveria that had that long bloom on it. And, oh, my banana tree and my succulent dish. Those are all still outside in my backyard. They're gonna be out there for a little bit longer, maybe for the next couple of weeks. It's supposed to dip into like the 40s overnight, but that's not quite freezing. So I think that they'll be okay. Banana trees are tropical plants though. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on him and bring it in. If I need to sooner, I will. Um, but I just repotted it. So I want it to kind of establish and got to acclimate it and blah, 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 blah. That's all guys. Thank you so much. If you're new here, I hope you enjoyed this. Go back and watch my other houseplant tours. If you guys have any questions, Please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If I named something that wasn't the proper name, call me out on it. I'm always learning. And if you're new here, subscribe. And then also be sure to like this video if you liked it. I always look forward to this time of year and seeing people's fall houseplant tour videos. It's my favorite time of the year. I hope you enjoy the decorations too. They're fun. And guys, I will see you in my next one. Bye.